Dubai is the most extraordinary surprise to people who've only heard about it from the UK. Because in the UK, it's marketed as um, a giant shopping mall with a beach attached. And of course, it's so not that once you're here. I had said when um, this invitation came to attend this festival, I had said, I'll only do it if I can actually go to a school as well, because, you know, they're the future and so on. And they, I think there's been a schools program building up alongside the festival over the last few years, the last three or four years, and now almost everybody does a schools trip. Um, so I was given, I went out to the Sharjah International School. I was given about 50 uh, year 12 and 13, so A-level year. So a lot of those the boys there sort of need to shave without question. You know, they were big lads. And I was talking to them about the imagination and um, how in the West we are very inclined to emphasize, almost overemphasize, the rational, logical side of the brain. Is it, is it the, it's the right-hand side, isn't it? The right-hand lobe. Whereas here is imagination, creativity, intuition, all those things. And it's this side of your brain that makes you into the kind of person that you are content to live with. It, it's what furnishes the inside of your head. And I was talking to them really about this and about creative writing and about using their imaginations. And several of the boys, and these were boys who want to be computer programmers and engineers and so on, said they wrote poetry. And of course, this is a nation of poets, isn't it? And you know, and the, and the rulers are poet. And poetry, although the tradition is oral, of course, rather than written, but it, poetry is a huge part of Arab culture, generally. So it's been, it's been very, um, it hasn't just been enriching for me this week, it's been hugely refreshing, you know, to have what I thought was going to be some sort of commercial cliché turn out to be anything but. <laughs>